With technology improving at rapid pace, it is not a surprise that some of us have a hard time catching up to it. Don't worry, we've got you covered and we'll be looking at games that will make your dull life more colorful and entertaining. This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high-quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will check out the top 50 games for low-end PCs. If you're new here, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to get updates whenever we post. And let us begin with Portal and Portal 2. Portal and Portal 2 offers mind-boggling puzzles at every stage of the game. Some of the puzzles are easy to crack, while you may feel stuck and frustrated at other points, but that is the beauty of the game. It challenges your mind. Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed is a historical action-adventure stealth game primarily revolving around the rivalry between two ancient secret societies, the Assassins and the Knights Templars. Need for Speed Underground 1 and 2 It was the first street racing game from the Need for Speed series and NOS effects and motion blur were seen in a racing PC game. GTA San Andreas GTA San Andreas is still one of the most famous open-world games and has been downloaded thousands of times by PC gamers. It has better graphics and a colossal open-world to explore. Max Payne 1 and 2 The story of the series was fluent and the best experience in any game. Even current generation games lack the kind of story flow that the original Max Payne had. Mafia The City of Lost Heavens the game is set in the early 1900s and makes you feel comfortable and easy with its slow pace of events and old cars and buildings. Project IGI – I Am Going In The shooting and stealth game was an instant hit worldwide when it got released and had one of the most realistic gameplay and the artificial intelligence of the CPU players was significantly improved. Counter-Strike Source CSS is one of the most successful games ever made, and estimated sales of around 35 million copies of all the games in the series have been sold. The concept is straightforward. The game is set in various rounds where players assume the roles of members of combating teams that include counter-terrorists and terrorists. Counter-Strike 1.6 Condition Zero The game was also released in the year 2004, but was overshadowed by the Counter-Strike Source, which is considered an epic game for FPS gamers and is the best training ground if you wish to improve your in-game shooting skills. Battlefield 2 It is an excellent first-person shooter with a bit of strategy and significant brute force to achieve the objectives set in the game. Battlefield 2 is a sequel to the original Battlefield 1942 and offers many advancements in terms of gameplay and graphics. Age of Empires 3 The AoE 3 begins with players developing the town center, building and developing the resources in the city and battle with each other to capture and expand the horizon of their kingdom. Medieval Total War The game is based on building an empire across medieval Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. It focuses on the warfare, religion, and politics of the time. FIFA 07 and 08 If you love sports, then FIFA is the game you should pick up. The game is less demanding graphically, yet delightful to play. The game has a huge number of teams and players and offers excellent gameplay. Call of Duty 2 Call of Duty 2 is a 2005 first-person shooter video game and the second installment in the critically acclaimed Call of Duty series and was one of the best war gaming titles. The game has both single-player and multiplayer modes and takes place in the era of World War II. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare this is the fourth game in the Call of Duty series. The game is based on the conflict between Russia and the US, where an eccentric leader has executed the president of an unarmed country in the Middle East and starts a civil war in Russia. Medal of Honor – Allied Assault The game revolves around a world war battle and the player is part of the American squad and battles the German enemies. Medal of Honor – Pacific Assault the story depicts the Pacific Wars and our soldier battle with his troops to win a Japanese land called Tarawa. Medal of Honor Airborne This is a first-person shooter game with missions including various insertions into Italy, northern France, the Netherlands, and Germany, each one beginning with a jump behind enemy lines, hence known as Airborne. F1 2010 When it comes to serious racing, there is nothing like a Formula 1 race. The penultimate in the racing where you can race above 300 km per hour and slight understeer or oversteer can make you lose an entire race. Among Us 
Among Us is a great example that video games don't need insanely complex graphics or gameplay elements to be a blast. Among Us offers players a fun gameplay loop that is accentuated by multiplayer. Loop Hero Loop Hero is a fantastic strategy game with a unique premise and some serious nostalgic vibes, featuring a chiptune soundtrack and some SNES-era graphics. Darkest Dungeon those who enjoy punishing gameplay and strategy elements should put Darkest Dungeon at the top of their list. Undertale Undertale firmly plants itself as an indie release that proves that a game can have a fantastic story, fun gameplay, and engaging characters with minimal graphics and effects. Game Dev Tycoon Game Dev Tycoon is a game about developing video games and becoming a major developer and historical replica of the game's industry, at least in the PAL regions. Monster Train Monster Train is one of the best deck-building roguelites in the market and only subjectively beaten out by Slay the Spire. The game, in terms of intensive visuals, is about as simple to run as any other card game on the market. Stardew Valley An indie sensation that brought the idyllic farm life of Harvest Moon to PC, build your farm into a vegetable empire, go exploring, learn about the lives of your neighbors, fall in love, and settle down. Slay the Spire Slay the Spire is a simple and easy to learn but with so much depth in building decks that each character can play radically different between each attempt. Spelunky Spelunky is a game designed with infinite ways to make the player struggle, but just as many ways to help the player succeed. Sometimes the chips don't fall in favor of Spelunky Guy, but when they do, it's so worth it. Celeste In Celeste, players control Madeline as she attempts to scale a mountain while avoiding obstacles. The artwork is gorgeous and the gameplay is almost flawless. Team Fortress 2 EF2 is a multiplayer first-person shooter from Valve, the famed developers that brought us Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Half-Life, and Portal. Terraria Indie game Terraria is like Minecraft in two dimensions. The game's vibrant 2D pixel artwork blends well with its themes. You can dig and build almost anywhere you choose. World of Warcraft Classic if you want to play the original WoW in its vanilla state, WoW Classic is very appealing. Take a journey back to the world of Warcraft when there weren't numerous expansions convoluting the plot and creating player imbalances. Warframe The incentive to play Warframe is high since it is a free-to-play game without a pay-to-win formula. You can grow your character without falling into the game's microtransactions, yet it offers in-game currency for purchase to skip the grind. Minecraft Unless you've been hiding under a rock for the past decade, you've probably heard of Minecraft's block-building phenomenon. It's been ported more times than we can count, yet it started on the PC. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds Light PUBG is a more graphically demanding game than Fortnite, so it was ingenious to integrate this light version in a move to keep up with the Joneses. PUBG Light is a downgrade that hardly sacrifices gameplay for lower requirements. 1982 Steam has its fair share of indie developed games, but 1982 seems to stand out. It's a retro-inspired game that pays homage to arcade classics like Galaga, Pac-Man, Galaxian, and Space Invaders. League of Legends League of Legends is an online battle arena game that is fun to be played solo or with friends. Rise your way through the ranks as you strategize in this free-to-play game. Valorant this low-end favorite is jumping on the scene as one of Twitch's most streamed games. Its mass appeal is likely because of its low PC requirements and because it's free-to-play. Prince of Persia The series' story casts you in the role of a prince who goes into adventures in which he has to battle his way through trials and hardships. His adventures vary from saving the world to saving his kingdom from total decay. Amnesia The Dark Descent Amnesia puts the likes of Outlast to shame thanks to how it succeeds at making the player feel paranoid of his surroundings. The game does a great job at making the player afraid of the unknown and what's lurking in the shadows. Luna, the Shadow Dust Its astonishing Ghibli-like style would surely leave one gazing at every corner of the game while exploring the breathtaking world and listening to the stellar soundtracks. Enslaved Odyssey to the West it is a loose adaptation of the Chinese novel Journey to the West, and it takes inspiration from several shows and games such as Eco and Life After People. Guild Wars 2 The game is set in a fantasy world known as Tyria, featuring a storyline responsive to players' actions. Hyper Light Drifter Hyper Light Drifter is what happens when you blend The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and Diablo. There are noticeable similarities if you've already played or heard of these titles before. 
Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. We're finishing the list with The Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning as it's one of the games that are quite familiar to The Witcher 3 in case if your PC can't handle it. Well, there you have it folks, the top 50 games for low-end PCs that will turn you into a potato. And that's it for today's video guys, let us know what you think about this list in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anterly and Anterly tokens, check out the links in the description.